Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. If you recently updated to iOS 17 on your iPhone, you might have noticed that if you go to your voicemail, your voicemail might have merged with other Apple devices that are using the same Apple ID. If you're sharing the same Apple ID with a family or family or friends, you'll see they're both merged voicemail and even call log history showing up. So what can you do to uh, resolve this issue and you might be wondering now what happens is with iOS 17 if you update it to iOS 17 is that Apple started to pretty much merge everything with the same Apple ID so you are seeing the voicemail here and the only solution is that you will have to separate Apple ID you cannot share Apple ID and that's the way Apple has intended I know a lot of user forums have recently complained about this issue where the voicemails that they merge, they want to separate it. But if you're using the same Apple ID, you can't do that. So the one solution that you can do right now is that you want to create a separate Apple ID for each Apple uh, user, right? So that they have their own personal voicemail and call history and things like that. And if you do want to share things, right? The reason why most people are using the same Apple ID is because they might be sharing subscription, app purchases, um, music downloads or movie download or purchases that they made. You can also do all of that with a separate Apple ID without using the same Apple ID by simply using what's known as family sharing. So if you click on family sharing here, I'll show you in a second where I stop this. So when you do family sharing, if you set it up, right, what you do is you can invite up to five people part of your Apple ID family sharing, which allows you to share things like subscriptions you have already purchased uh, for iCloud Plus, Apple Music, Apple TV Plus, even apps, movies, TV shows, and of course parental controls, and then also location sharing as well without mixing things like your uh, merged voicemails and contact list and even photos and contacts as well that get mixed when you're using the same Apple ID on different devices for different people. So solution is set up separate Apple ID for each device, which is free to do. Every Apple device can create their own free Apple account. If you want to link on how to create that, we'll share a link on that. But setting up family sharing is the only solution going forward as Apple has pretty much put that out and they're not going to allow you to kind of mer separate things if you're using the same Apple ID for your devices unfortunately that's kind of the way Apple has deemed you can um, go ahead and give feedback to Apple on their website but essentially going forward is what Apple recommends is having separate Apple ID for each person and using family sharing as a solution where you can invite up to five people on your account so they can share uh, your purchases without needing the same Apple ID. So that's it for this video. I know uh, this isn't the greatest solution out there, but that's the only solution right now from Apple is using this for any merged uh, voicemail and things like contacts and call log history. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.